tilt forward. Everything in the front just caved. For more than 200 years, coal and clay have been mined in Pennsylvania. As the seams were mined out and then abandoned, the stage was set for the later subsidence or sometimes even total collapse of the ground above. Unfortunately, there's no way to tell when it will happen or how bad it will be. I was scared. Uh, my wife was scared. Uh, we were very disappointed that uh, we had bought a home and nobody told us that there were mines up there. I was completely devastated, completely. We had put everything we had in t into our house and uh, thought we were investing our money. And slowly but surely, it was just all of it just being ruined by something just completely out of our control. At bids of eighty, ninety thousand, that's just to put it back together without doing the wiring or the plumbing. So uh, we destroyed that. When you take the time and effort to build a home, uh, put all your 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 uh, dreams into the home, and then all of a sudden see that it's uh, it's, it's damaged tremendously, it, it's a real sad, sick feeling. There are two distinct coal fields in Pennsylvania. The bituminous, or soft coal region, lies mostly in the western half of the state, while the anthracite, or hard coal region, is found in the northeastern part of the state. If you live in either of these regions, you should know that past underground mining operations have created a high potential for subsidence and for damage to your home. When it sunk my front yard in Grandview Avenue, it pulled my house with it. It pulled it right down with it. The whole surface of my yard and ground, everything. The front corner of our house was actually dropping, it was falling into the mine. It pulled the house off of the foundations. I think probably the saddest day was the day we tore the house down. And we stood here in the rain watching them crush it. That's why for nearly 40 years, our state government has offered my